Okay, so the first one on the left hand side is your fullest swing. I mean, setup wise, yeah, I mean, there's much difference. You're probably a little bit closer and taller to that ball slightly, I suppose. You are playing, I think, a shorter club. I think it was a seven or eight iron. That might have been a six iron, possibly. But in terms of the swing, now, as I said, the club going back a little bit whipped inside and sort of pushing almost the club kind of going a little bit out and around this way a bit too much. So the hands are kind of working out. Club whips inside. You get laid off here. Then you try to re sort of correct the position here now where your wrist is. The club sort of moving around your wrist there, sort of, as we said, going from flat to then cupped. So now that club starts coming back down slightly open. And now from here, sort of throwing the club a little bit kind of outside the line slightly. That club is probably coming in, if that's the face there through the golf ball. You're probably swinging that for your straight line there, I would say. So that's basically your path in the golf ball, starting left, depending on what your club face is doing, the ball will hit, as you can see on the screen there, end of that yellow line. It'll either go left, if the club face is square, and just stay left, or a driver, you're probably gonna slice it, yeah? You get that big banana cut up to the right there, okay? So this one here now again, hands working nicely in here now, club face at this point, whipped a bit inside there, but sort of a bit more on toe line here. As we get to the top of the backswing here, now as you come back in, you can see the club path coming in now. At this point, what we're looking for is a checkpoint. Lead arm, so the trail arm and the club shaft in line, which you've pretty much got, okay? Club now working from the inside. Look at that club position there. Now that club's working much more from the inside. Just into impact there, that ball now is going to start more right of the white line and you turn your torso through. So it's not a cricket shot, as in like just pushing your arms out this way, just out to the right here, yeah? But we are keeping that left wrist flatter while we turn our torso through. What you sometimes do is kind of do that. So your turn kind of comes from your right shoulder and right arm smothering, as it's kind of like, please don't slice. We're gonna get your left wrist and left hip kind of a bit more that way, yeah? So left hip is clearing, left wrist is staying a bit flatter. Keep that club face square, okay? Not this kind of like cupping in your left wrist kind of doing that motion, yeah, which obviously sends the ball way out to the right. So your compensation to slice is right shoulder over the top and releasing it and trying to hit that way. When you strike an iron good, if you come over the top there now, it just heads into the trees down the left-hand side and just disappears, yeah? We gotta try and get that club working more, the, the handle of the club working more around your body, okay? And then your body then twisting, and when you finish, that left wrist staying. So when you finish this swing here now, your club didn't go into there. In time, I mean, that club face you can see now is still kind of toe up. It's not rolled over or twisted over this way, okay? And when you hit the goal ball there now, it's gone straight to target. This only went about five, ten yards short of the green with a swing length of that. I mean, to go back a little bit further would be okay. And then when you swing through, your hands stop here because you're hitting the ground now with more thump. The club head slows down. The club head stops. As you keep twisting through a bit more club head speed, your hands will start working up here a little bit longer. We don't need to be sort of finishing it, ripping around here with the irons especially, yeah? Okay, that kind of makes sense. As a practice drill, I would want to try and get you to do that definitely as your warm up. So your first 10 or 15 shots with like nine, eight wedge or whatever, just hit these sort of like punchy low draw feeling, okay? Get that strike. And then when you feel like you're going to be at five in a row, we'll try some full shots. If the full shots are a bit like, mm, a couple were good, but a couple were still a bit dodgy, go back to these short ones. If you hit the first five full shots, you're like, this is amazing. Go from the eight iron to a six iron. Hit five full shots. If they're good, keep going, yeah? If they're a bit like, mm, not quite where I want to be, go back to shots where you can get that feeling with the impact and how you want that left wrist to be. Get your path, as we said, into the golf club with the club head working more that way, okay? Into the ball this way as opposed to across it. Okay, mate? So have a couple more of those sort of shorter swings again. Just try and dial that number in, okay? Because the last couple have been a bit left, all right? But we'll get that. If you get down the range then, Jane, it's shots with sense of bids across to me. We can say yes, no, good, bad, or whatever. I think you, when you had a couple with the strike you feel there, you're really getting that. So that was a bit stopped a bit. There you go. That's there you go. That's it. And if you see the guys on tee, that's the strike they're doing. That's what the sound comes from, yeah? They're getting that kind of like compression in the ground, and the ball then pfft, off the club face. Okay, mate?